Well, we share something really common that we live up here in the far north, right on the Canadian border. And, uh, and it's a fairly small community, those of us that make a living in those elusive things like the arts. And my original profession was a musician, a guitarist. And I remember Mike playing, Michael playing back in the Twin Cities a long time ago when I was just starting for National Geographic and very talented guy. And of course, I don't remember exactly how we got together of late. It just seemed inevitable. Music has always been very important in my life. In fact, I think if I would have stayed with music, I probably would have been a better musician Michael would disagree with me. I would have probably been a better musician than I am a photographer. Music runs deeper in my veins than, than visuals. But I think you have to be more disciplined to play music. With the photography that I do, I can do it by myself. I'm not on stage. And I could kind of be more to the mood. But I've always got music in my head. We haven't rehearsed for the next show in Grand Rapids, but uh, we've done it enough. I'll send him, if we don't get together, I'll send him a slideshow of sorts, and he'll interpret it. And uh, he'll do his music, and I'll do my slideshow, and he'll play to some of it, and I'll talk, and he'll talk. And There's a lot of serendipitous things that happen with us because we seem to fit pretty well together and respect each other and like each other. And, so we get on stage with a little bit of form and just kind of let it go and let it happen. I think he's an extremely talented fellow and it's, I'm very proud to be on stage with him. But you have to see him in person because how he loops the music on command is something that, that if you play guitar you really appreciate his skill and his art. If I were perfect I'd be done. I'll probably pick things that are a little bit more, a little more poetic. Instead of hard, fast animal behavior kinds of things, I'll probably pick a little bit more pastoral, maybe some new things, maybe from things in Europe that I've been shooting lately. Uh, but certainly Northwoods things and maybe a little bit of prairie things. You know, it's one of those things you'd like to think you make a difference in this world, leave something behind, but if people can have an appreciation for nature, that precious resource we have here, and, and know that it's, a, it's such a precious resource, we need to take, take it very seriously, take care of it. A little bit of advocacy, but if they just enjoy the evening and feel good about life, that's enough. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.